good evening today i want to talk about the problems in the indian bond market the reserve bank governor and the indian bond market have been continuously involved in a tug of war shakti kanta das the history graduate is desperately trying to keep the bond yields low the market is not willing to take it and is constantly pushing for higher and higher yields yesterday shakti kanta das did not cancel the bond auction and put pressure on the short sellers they had to borrow securities if they did not have it and give it back to them but in spite of all the gymnastics he did he could not contain bond yields below or at 6% and the yield shot up above 6 shaktikanta das has spent the better half of last year and whatever is there of this year in controlling bond yields in the opinion of many shakti kanta das is fighting the wrong battle let us find out why the yields are not listening to shakti kanta das welcome back to beerich in any economy the 10 year government yield is the interest rate that is set as the base all lending rates are decided based on this 10 year bond yield the 10 year bond yield is also acts as a reference rate for corporate borrowings so for any central banker what the salt the lower the bond rate the better for him shaktikanta das has been talking down the bond yields for the last 2 years the primary reason is if for those who analyze the indian budget documents will know that even only winter servicing alone has eaten up 52% of all central government revenue that is out of every 100 rupees there 52 rupees goes into servicing debt which the government already took and since inflation is expected to be back at a vengeance bond dealers are asking for a higher interest from the reserve bank governor the reserve bank governor in turn is calling these people the bond vigilantes nobody disagrees with mr das that lower rates are very good especially at a time when the markets are struggling and small and medium business are struggling for credit any increase in interest rates will create many more bankruptcies in india and shakti kanta das does not want it why does this happen this is because nirmala sitaraman was not honest in preparing her last budget even if we had not had covid she would have missed her revenue targets completely at the beginning of the year shakti kanta das told the indian markets that he would borrow 7 lakh crores at the end of the year he landed up borrowing 12 lakh crores out of these 12 lakh crores about 3 lakh 50 thousand crores was bought by reserve bank by printing more currency this is nothing but tantamount to quantitative easing once the market got tasted blood and knew that whenever rates go up shakti kanta das will swoop in to buy more bond yields remain elevated shakti kanta das first tried to sweet talk the market into listening to him he explained to the market why lower yields are good for india and good for business and therefore the market should settle for a lower yield in spite of his best efforts when words did not convince us the bond holders he resorted to what is known as operation twist several times he bought short dated securities and sold long dated ones thus forcing interest rates down but the government even in this budget has not been honest on the amount of money it can raise further even if before this year has begun we are already faced with the covid situation the important commercial centers of top 8 indian cities are reeling under covid two industrial cities in in bombay maharashtra and in neighboring gujarat are now facing lockdown even if the government does not declare a lockdown there is a shortage of credit available in the market and this is pushing many companies into bankruptcy especially small and medium business the big boys need not worry they can raise equity very cheaply or can manage to hold on for a longer period of time the small people and the medium sector cannot do this and this is why shakti kanta das wants a lower rate 
he has repeatedly said lower interest rates are good for the market when the reserve bank governor is asking so much why are not markets responding markets are not responding because of two reasons foreign money which has come into india is now threatening to go back because two things are happening in america one is falling yields and the expectations that inflation will come soon this has pushed up us bond rates to nearly 1.75% if it reaches crosses to it will be catastrophe for the us markets when the us markets catch cold the rest of us have a fever and this is what shaktikant das is trying to avoid by trying to print money and buy bonds unfortunately for him india is less tolerant towards inflation and for the last one year inflation has been running well above rbi's comfort target after declining for one in month in march the consumer price inflation is on the rise last year we saw a phenomena of low wpi and high consumer prices today what has happened is even both the wpi and the consumer prices are moving up the wholesale prices rates have inflation is above 7% and the consumer price inflation is above 5.5 sooner rather than later shaktikant das will be forced to raise rates or allow the market to find its own levels just because the reserve bank governor wishes it you cannot have lower rates unless there is somebody else who is willing to buy bonds at such low rates today there are not many people willing to do so thank you for watching be rich it's a great privilege and honor that so many of you in thousands have subscribed to my channel and have supported me i have written two books in english the alchemy of money and ordinary stocks extraordinary profits these books are published by us and are ready if you want to procure a copy send us a message to the whatsapp number given below and my team would respond to you if you want an amazon kindle copy you can click the link below finally those who wish to consult with me can send a mail to beerichenglish@gmail.com once again i thank you for your support if you like this video press the subscribe button of my channel hit the like button and turn on the bell notification